Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages, outside the dilapidated Castle Grayskull in front of the, uh, this probably should be on an episode of Hoarders, Snake Mountain, in the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you another Reno McGillis review. How are you doing? Sorry that the reviews are few and far between, but hey, money's tight, trying to get my son on his missions trip. Uh, at some point, I'm probably going to have to take time off uh, if this hand doesn't heal get some surgery. Uh, I have, instead of the carpal tunnel, right, which is this, these three fingers and some, or these three. And then sometimes part of this, it's just this, and I don't have any grip strength and it's down my, into my elbow and stuff. So apparently there's, it's like a, the a red headed stepchild, uh, of a carpal tunnel or some shit. I don't know. A good analogy for it. Analogy. Analogy. Ugh, can't speak the English, but I can tell you what I can do. And that is Serenade to Reginald Barkley. And here we go. Are you guys ready? A Barkley, I can beg you to a kiss from a rose on a grave. Because I'm opening Batman Forever action figures. And I'm sorry I sung. Here we go. I've been waiting to get these for a while. Um, Batman Forever, I absolutely loved. Uh, my dad and I, I remember being in Florida. Uh, we went down my only time to Disney World, right? went down there uh, and they had on uh, the WB I think it was they had a uh, special about it and I remember um, Chris O'Donnell talking about hey guys let me take out the Batmobile and he didn't realize how freaking strong the uh, engine was going to be he ended up take, like nicking a side guard or a guardrail with it yeah good job Chris but it apparently didn't do too bad of damage so anyhow so we'll go ahead and uh, we want to start with the Batman the Batman so yeah, uh, I remember seeing this a few times in the theater with my dad. Uh, I actually bought the novelization to it. Uh, I didn't always buy novelizations to books as a kid. I'd usually buy like the comic book version of a of a comic book story or movie or what have you. And uh, ooh, look at all this stuff. And anyway, I bought it at the, at the airport in St. Louis on the way down to uh, Orlando, go to the Universal Studios and all that good shit, right? Which, of course, you know, they don't have any Warner Brothers, uh, or excuse me, DC characters. Well, they didn't have any Marvel characters down there back whenever I went either. That was back in 1995, or June, to be exact. Um, it may be a little bit more difficult for me guys to do, uh, do this review because of my hand. Uh, I heard it bowling, and probably doesn't help that I've used a keyboard and been playing on the internet since 1998. And uh, we'll just set the build a figure part over there. But yeah, I probably have messed it up with years of bad keyboard posture. I just got the weird side of it. So, so anyway, we have this weird bat grapnel, grappling hook. Um, he has a regular batarang, and I think this is that weird sonar one or whatever. I, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, to be honest. Too long. Too long. Um, see what kind of hands he has. He does have open hands instead of fists, so I'll probably pop that off. Uh, and I'm, it's going to take a second. And we're back and ready for love. Are you ready for love? I hope you're ready for love. I'm ready for love. And here we go. So he has the bat diaper on, as you can see. I know it's a great way to hide it. You know, it's a, you know, I've seen under here, I see how bad the joints look and stuff. It just, it, ah, I don't know, it just kind of takes me away from it. But still great figures, all in all. Um, so anyway, this is that sonar suit that he wore at the end of the movie rather than the other one, I think, right? Oh, God, it's been so long. Um, speaking of long, look at that fella. Anyhow, um, there's your Val Kilmer Batman. My dad liked the, uh, he didn't get to see Batman and Robin so he could uh, have his mind changed for him, but... He really liked the direction Schumacher went <laughs> over Burton. He felt like it was more uh, fun rather than like, what in the hell is going on here and weird. So, yeah, that's my dad for you. He was a cool dude, though. Okay. Um, got that box done, but I didn't get him out yet. So let's have a look at his hands. There we go. This is really hard to do with this hand. I need to switch. Got to switch how I do stuff, I guess. Here is the... Uh, Ass slapping hand, so he can one day, uh, his dreams of being bare naked with a girl uh, will come true. He's got his uh, pointing finger, or pull my finger, or nose picker, whatever you need him to be. 
excuse me. All right, hold on just a second. Okay, so he had fists. I dropped one wherever it went. It's just a fist. Who cares, right? Um, need to get a new accessory bag. I keep saying that. Never do it, though. Um, as you can see, they are the cloth cop, <laughs> cloth cops, cloth capes. Goodness, speak mark. And uh, anyway, so there he is. He also has the diaper on, but it looks a little bit better on him for some reason. Um, yeah, so anyway... There is your Chris O'Donnell Robin with uh, a nice Chris O'Donnell butt. Uh, definitely enjoy these figures better than the Batman and Robin set, simply because Batman and Robin sucked. Um, really like that cape. That is sharp. I like that. And uh, here's another look at his. His doesn't have the wire in it, but uh, his has one up here, so he can do a little more posability. But yeah, really cool figures. They both have nips, as you can see. If you need to lick a nipple, there you have it. If you're into the nipple-opalypse, uh, nip lips is that what I'd say into the world of nipples? Eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, here's a guy that I'm not a big fan of, simply because of his method acting and how he got weird with Andy Kaufman stuff, and being wrong about some of it, too. Like his hatred towards, uh, his hateful and venomous towards uh, Jerry Lawler was a little weird, but whatever. Okay, Jim comes with these hands. Throw them in. There we go. Okay, so there he is in all of his scenery chewing goodness. Um, yeah, he didn't really play the Riddler that much, did he? He more or less played Jim Carrey, like he does in every other movie. Um, almost that I've seen. Anyway, there there he is. There's that. He is also wearing a diaper, which is probably something that uh, Jim likes to do in his private time. I don't kink shame though around here. I just bad mouth the uh, people when it comes to Andy Kaufman. Okay, so here we go. Um, there is one of the bat bombs. And speaking of people that don't like uh, Jim Carrey, hey, look at here. It's Tommy Lee Jones, but I hear he doesn't really like anybody. I don't even think he likes Tommy Lee Jones, but let's find out how he looks in out of package. <clears throat> Alrighty, so he comes with a coin flipping finger, which who gives a shit? I mean, yeah, that's I guess it's cool, but it doesn't look great, you know. Um he has a fist. And then here he is. Um there you go. There is his butt for all of you Tommy Lee Jones bones jumping fans. I always liked this costume. I thought it was really, uh, really cool. Um, it's a good way to pop in the movie, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it was... Uh, I enjoyed Batman Forever when I was a kid. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things. It's like... That was... We were so used to... My, I hadn't really read Dark Knight Returns or anything crazy like that. I'd read Death in the Family, right? But And even that was kind of just not really that serious of a book. Yeah, Robin died, but... It was just not not serious, you know what I mean? It felt like everything was kind of... This is Batman and Robin. You know, 60s Robin and Batman. And that's all I knew for the longest time, right? So, this was good for me. But, uh, you know, now that I'm older, it's like, oh, well, that's just one version of Batman. And I enjoy it as much as I enjoy so many of the others. All right, get them wings on. Them wines! Want some wines? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Maybe my wife will put this on display upstairs with our Halloween crap. If he'll go in. This is really hard to do with one hand that really you can't grip against. Okay. And there we go. We have a bat. Yeah. Yeah, you doing? I'm the bat that came with this. And I got to say, McFarlane needs to lay off the diapers. And they could have picked a bigger, better build a figure, and also, I miss the Hero Burger from uh, McDonald's. Yeah, I miss the Hero Burger, too, but don't get me on a rant of things I miss that McDonald's used to have, because we'll, have, we'll all be sad. Very sad. So anyway, uh, here's the part of the video that you're all here for, the magic, where we see if any of these action figures is the greatest one ever made, uh, because they are able to crash through the door to Castle Grayskull and thus give the beautiful 
Sexual and sensuous Skeletor, um, the powers within. So here we go. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, that, that was kind of fun to throw that thing. Anyway, all right, sorry. Back to throwing people. There you go. Here, Tommy Lee Jones kick his ass. Oh, right in the balls. Yeah. All right, and here we go. All right, guys. Well, that's my episode. I know it wasn't very long. I just wanted to get that Batman Forever set that I've been waiting on forever out of the way. Um, probably the next video will be um, the G.I. Joe HasLab. I didn't do... I did the helicopter one. I didn't do the airplane one because the, they at the time of that friggin' uh, GoFundMe, they, or, excuse me, their crowdfunding thing, right? They didn't have... Uh, my other my other one in. I was like, I'm not going to pay for this if I don't even have the other one in. That's kind of how I was with Mezco uh, 112s, and that's why Mezco has me blocked on Instagram. But anyway, enough about me being a troll. You guys, I just want you to know I love you, and let's, uh, let's do a little engagement bait, shall we? Um, if you think this should have been a build-a-figure of Chase Meridian from, uh, that's right, Nicole Kidman, rather than a bat, like this video? Yeah, if you think it, uh, yeah, or if you think it should have been one of the, uh, uh, what was that, Sugar and Spice Girls that they had, they had that one lady, and then they had, uh, that was cute, and then they had uh, that other one that was Drew Barrymore, who is weird, uh, but that's what drug abuse and as a child will get you, but I, I can't get that, anyway, all right, well, be good to yourselves, friends, and remember, free the figs.